In this presentation, we will show you how our data diodes can be deployed to create air gaps between machines or networks. It is applicable in environment, where internet browsing machines are separated from corporate machines so as to reduce the cybersecurity risk. Shown here are applications using our data diode series 100, the data diode USB in, and data diode series 200, the data diode USB out. Scenario 1. Shown here is machine A that have access to the internet. Machine A can send file to machine B using the unidirectional data diode USB in. This way, information in machine B can be protected from being accessed or hacked by hacker who might have breached machine A via the internet. The diagram below shows another configuration where there is a network of machines that have access to the internet. Users can surf the internet using machines A, B or C for the information and download the required files, and stores them in the file depository server. The file depository server with encryption technology software installed, will send the files to the file server via the data diode USB in. The file server with encryption technology software installed will receive the files from the file depository server. Users now can retrieve the files from the file server using machines D, E, or F. The file server can be installed with antivirus or anti-malware software to scan the files for added protection. Using the data diode creates an air gap between two machines or networks, so that it will be difficult for hackers to breach from one machine to another machine, or one network to the other network. Scenario 2 Shown here is machine A which is secured but needs to send some files over to machine B which is unsecured or have access to the internet. Here we can use our data diode USB out, attached to machine A, so that machine A can send the file to machine B. Machine A is protected from machine B should the hacker gain access to machine B. Similarly, the file depository server can be deployed should there be multiple machines that needs to send files over to the unsecured network of machines. Diagram below shows how it is done. Scenario 3 In the diagram, Data diode USB out is attached to machine A and data diode USB in is attached to machine B. This configuration will protect both machines, should the hacker again access to the network that link the data diodes. In the diagram below, it can be a typical setup wherein the SCADA or control systems generated reports or data can be transferred to the corporate network via the data diodes that provides protection to both networks. Our data diode USB in and data diode USB out can be deployed independently or they can be used as a pair, depending on your application requirements. If you would like to know more about our product, please visit our website at www.encryptiontechnology.com.